Here we are on Lesson 75 in the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 75, The Light Has Come. The Light Has Come. The Light Has Come. You are healed and you can heal. The Light Has Come. You are saved and you can save. You are at peace and you bring peace with you wherever you go. Darkness and turmoil and death have disappeared. The light has come. Today we celebrate the happy ending to your long dream of disaster. <laughs> there are no dark dreams now. The light has come. Today the time of light begins for you and everyone. It is a new era in which a new world is born. The old one has left no trace upon it in its passing. Today we see a different world because the light has come. Our exercises for today will be happy ones in which we offer thanks for the passing of the old and the beginning of the new. No shadows from the past remain to darken our sight and hide the world forgiveness offers us. Today we will accept the new world as what we want to see. We will be given what we desire. We will to see the light. The light has come. Our longer practice periods will be devoted to looking at the world that our forgiveness shows us. This is what we want to see and only this. Our single purpose makes our goal inevitable. Today the real world rises before us in gladness to be seen at last. Sight is given us now that the light has come. We do not want to see the ego's shadow on the world today. We see the light and in it we see heaven's reflection lie across the world. Begin the longer practice periods by telling yourself the glad tidings of your release. The light has come. I have forgiven the world. Dwell not upon the past today. Keep a completely open mind, washed of all past ideas, and clean of every concept you have made. You have forgiven the world today. You can look upon it now as if you never saw it before. You do not know yet what it looks like. You merely wait to have it shown to you. While you wait, repeat several times, slowly and in complete patience. The light has come. I have forgiven the world. Realize that your forgiveness entitles you to vision. Understand that the Holy Spirit never fails to give the gift of sight to the forgiving. Believe he will not fail you now. You have forgiven the world. He will be with you as you watch and wait. He will show you what true vision sees. It is his will and you have joined with him. Wait patiently for him. He will be there. The light has come. You have forgiven the world. Tell him you know you cannot fail because you trust in him. And tell yourself you wait in certainty to look upon the world he promised you. From this time forth, you will see differently. Today, the light has come and you will see the world that has been promised and you will see the world that has been promised you since time began and in which is the end of time ensured. The shorter practice periods too will be joyful reminders of your release. Remind yourself every quarter of an hour or so that today is a time for special celebration. Give thanks for mercy and for the love of God. Rejoice in the power of forgiveness to heal your sight completely. 
be confident that on this day there is a new beginning. Without the darkness of the past upon your eyes, you cannot fail to see today. And what you see will be so welcome that you will gladly extend today forever. Say then, the light has come. I have forgiven the world. Should you be tempted, say to anyone who seems to pull you back into darkness, the light has come. I have forgiven you. We dedicate this day to the serenity in which God would have you be. Keep it in your awareness of yourself and see it everywhere today. As we celebrate the beginning of your vision and the sight of the real world, which has come to replace the unforgiven world you thought was real. That's Lesson 75, The Light Has Come. If you would like to read my comments on the workbook this year, go to amytorresason.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.